Hey Kyle, it's Clint Lalonde from Royal Roads University in Victoria. Um, two words that I would use to describe trends that I think will impact um, especially higher education in the next five years are open courses. Uh, some of these courses may be the massive courses like the MOOC model of Siemens and Downs or more recently uh, former Stanford Artificial Intelligence professor Stanford Thrun. And some of these might be uh, more hybrid models where you know, there's a small cohort of students that are taking an online course, maybe for credit and maybe with a formal educational institution, with open participation um, from people outside of that formal course. And I'm thinking of the types of courses that are currently being offered by um, Alec Koros at the University of Regina or uh, Jim Groom at the University of Mary Washington. I, I think these types of courses are going to begin to show their influence with traditional instructors and, and kind of get them thinking about the pedagogical advantages of open courses. Um, for example, classes with some level of participation from the outside world can be immensely rich learning opportunities where learners can interact with other learners from around the world and, and faculty can be connecting students to not only content from a subject area but actually to an entire community of really engaged participants. Some people who are taking the course maybe uh, or participating in the course maybe just for purely the passion they have for the subject. Um, so I think these outside participants can actually bring a real sense of relevancy and richness to the class and the learners then have an opportunity to get feedback say from uh, an entire network of people who have an interest in the subject rather than limiting it to just the instructor or maybe the 30, 50 or 100 students that are physically in the class with them. And uh, when I talk about open courses too, I'm also talking about open courses in the sense of some of the open startups that we're starting to see on the education webscape, um, sites like sailor.org and peer-to-peer -peer university, uh, Udacity, uh, initiatives like uh, Apple's revamped iTunes U that are going to begin to offer more course-like offerings through iTunes U. Uh, MIT's recent announcement that they're now going to offer some kind of credit for open courses and the open courses through their open courseware initiative. Uh, Selman Khan's Khan Academy, all of these kinds of open initiatives are going to have an impact on traditional higher education, uh, if only for the simple fact that students are now going to have more options available to them and some pretty high quality options and in most cases these options are really a low cost or uh, in some cases absolutely free. So the two words that come to my mind when I think of trends that are going to impact education, especially higher education in the next five years, open courses.